Hello, golf course owners and operators. My name is Stu Proctor. I am the Director of Sales and Marketing for Club Caddy. Before we get started into this video series of uh, my favorite features and functionality of Club Caddy, I'd like to introduce myself, tell you a little bit about me. I've been in the industry uh, since I was 14 years old, spent most of my career on the green grass side. Um, I went to Ferris State University in the professional golf management program and graduated in 2006. Um, and was elected to, into the PGA in 2007. I still uh, am a Class A PGA professional. And in 2014, I made a switch uh, into the tech side of things. So um, my first job was to travel around and install and train uh, golf course operators and owners on different software solutions, T-Sheet, Point of Sale, um, some of the uh, older server-based ones, um, and then some uh, cloud-based ones as well. Um, then I, you know, transferred into sales and worked uh, for a few different software solution companies, competitors um, in uh, the industry uh, as far as sales goes. And then I uh, ended up here at Club Caddy. Um, and really, the reason why I love Club Caddy and I came on board is the team. Uh, number one, um, and and how, what their stance is on how we want to help the industry and op owner, golf course owners and operators, and how much we care. Um, so the team here have all worked in the golf <laughs> industry in some way, shape, or form. Whether that's uh, we have a couple PGA members, uh, we have uh, you know our CEO, our director of product, golf course owners. Um, that's how Club Caddy really started was for their own facility. Uh, to manage all their entire operation under one uh, software solution. But also, you know, we have guys and girls that have been behind the counter or in food and beverage or in accounting or whatever it may be. We have a lot of different diverse experience in the industry, um, which it gives us a very unique uh, look um, when we're devving out our software, right? So we do a lot of customization. We listen to our golf course partners. Um, we listen to our, our golf course prospects during demos. Uh, there's some ideas that come up that we're like, wow, light bulb, that sounds great. And uh, we give it to our dev team. Um, additionally, uh, internally, um, we do a great job of listening to our support or implementation team. Um, but with that said, it kind of leads me what I'm going to talk to about today is we do first and foremost look at it and how can this be more efficient um, or when we de develop a new feature or functionality, how is it going to be more efficient or how can we make it the most efficient for the golf course operator and owner? But then we also look at it on another like twofold where how can we make this and dev this out to also create a better customer or golfer experience, right? So that's what I'm gonna talk about today. Um, some of my top features and functionality that not only help operators become more efficient, but also create a much better golf or customer experience um, for your customers. And, you know, cause we all know that our golfers, our customers, you know, there's a few different reasons why they come and play our course, but typically the main reason is the overall customer or golfer experience. So let's dive into it. Um, and, uh, you know, the first one here uh, I'm gonna talk about is quick pay. Okay. Um, and this is, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna talk about scenarios on where these can be used, but this is where, you know, I've already booked a tee time or someone's already booked a, a golfer's already booked a tee time either via the phone, uh, online, or maybe a third party booking engine if you uh, have a third party. And so they're already on the T-sheet. Maybe they're running late or they just don't need to buy anything else. They just wanna check in and get out the door. Maybe you have an iPad and you're mobile and you allow people to check in curbside or at the starter shack. So, um, you know, let's say uh, Jason comes in here um, he doesn't need to buy anything else. He's running late. He just wants to get in and out the door. Um, you know, there's a line, whatever it may be. Um, we can go ahead and right click and hit quick pay. And then instead of pushing it over to the register um, and then having to hit pay and, and, and having six or seven clicks, it just populates our payment tender or our payment mode here 
where you know he could tap his credit card or insert his credit card or use Apple Pay or Google Pay or maybe he pays cash and in two clicks he's in and out the door checked in makes it a lot more efficient and faster for the operator the starter whatever it may be whoever's checking them in but also creates great customer experience because you see how quick that is in and out the door uh, immediately all right so the next thing here is um, kind of on the same uh, lines of the quick pay but this typically always happens too so on the t-sheet you saw Stuart myself on there let's say I come in and I just start putting stuff on uh, you know the counter and the operator behind the counter doesn't know if I checked in or not maybe didn't ask didn't realize it thought I already checked in um, and you know however then I tell him oh wait I gotta check in for my tea time as well all right, typically um, you would have to either delete this ticket out, delete all these items, start back over at the T sheet, um, check them in, you know, and then add those items back into the register. However, with Club Caddy, you see you have this add to order. So I can go ahead and hit that, and then there will, all your open tickets will be here. So I have this one here. I'm going to go ahead and select that. That's going to merge these orders together. Um, you'll see because I'm a member and I'm walking it gives me automatically gives me my rate if I needed to change it in here for some reason you know very common for when someone checks in this first time they ever played and then they say oh I'm a senior and you have to go and change it real quick you can do that instead of having to go back to the tee sheet again just eliminating clicks and making it a better experience for the golfers um, but at this point boom in and out the door very simple very easy as you can see there all right now the third thing I'm going to talk about is um, the scenario of a walking golfer okay so I know at public courses especially the ones I worked at and maybe yours some courses you know do all pre bookings or most people book ahead of time but there are a lot of courses out there where a lot of their golf comes the day of they just got out of work and they're just walk in and say hey can you get me out on the golf course um, so again typically you'd have to go to tee sheet find a tee time book the tee time for the player or players um, select a rate push them over and you know now you're talking 10 11 12 clicks not good for the golf course operator you know why there might be a few people in line and not a great experience, a little awkward while they're waiting there to check out, right? Well, with Club Caddy, you can come to golf here. Um, and then let's just say it's a twilight rate. So we'll go ahead and select this twilight rate. It's going to default to the nearest time. However, you could go ahead and, you know, uh, change that or update it. Maybe they want to go grab a bite to eat first or whatnot. Um, then you can, you know, type in their name you'll see because I am a member or I have a better rate than the twilight rate during this time based on my profile it automatically knows that so you don't have to worry about switching it and then boom it's not only going to allow me to just go ahead and tender out and pay for my round but it's also going to place me on that t-sheet and block it off at that 728 time so does that all in one shot a lot less clicks a lot faster a lot easier all right um, so the next thing I want to talk about that makes it uh, a better experience for the golf course operator and for the golfer or your customers is events so I think this is uh, and specifically this is my favorite module um, because you can manage all of your internal events, external events directly from here. It creates BEOs. But I'm specifically going to talk about online events, right? So I know as operators, um, if you want to host like an Easter brunch or, um, you know, maybe a, the Chili Open or any kind of event, um, it, it's kind of you have to print off a bunch of signs and you know to promote it out and then people come in and they register in the golf shop and you got to keep track on a spreadsheet and you have a file folder with all your registrants and they fill out paperwork well this makes it a lot easier for both the golfer a lot easier and for the golf course operator you could come in here and you can go ahead and edit uh, you know or add a new event here 
And so I'll go ahead and just show this one, this Chili Open. You can name the event. Uh, it can be a free event or a fee. Uh, you can say, hey, there's a max number of registrants of 144. Uh, each person can only sign up a, a top uh, or uh, four players. Um, you can upload a banner image, so you have a little uh, image on your website. Event date, sign up start, start date, and end date. <clears throat> so you'll only be able to register for this during that time. It'll only be displayed on your website. Um, and then um, what's nice is you could preload your entire year if you wanted to of, the, of your open events. Um, and then um, it'll only display between the start date and end date. And then you can have a little event description as well. So as soon as you do this, it will populate to your website. Um, where you know uh, users can look at your calendar, see what uh, events are open. And actually here, let me go ahead and just go to that real quick. So our iframes here, we have a lot of different iframes. But if I just click them here, and what's nice about these iframes are, not only are they on your website, but you have access to these to promote them on your social media or through an email marketing or uh, maybe an ad, you know, maybe you want to promote an ad on Facebook for an event, whatever it may be. You can even help charity events by doing this, right? So you can see here, um, these are all the events that are applicable, um, um, like Short Game Clinic with PGA Pro Stu Proctor. And then your golfer could come in here and either, you know, sign in if they have an account or create a new account. Um, and they can go ahead and register for this event. And um, they can pay for it too. So they can pay for it through, um, you know, uh, credit card. Um, your members, if you do have membership, can put it on their member account, um, as you can see here. And then additionally, not uh, selected here, you can also pay for it through uh, a gift card. So if you had a gift card uh, from the facility and you wanted to use that, you can do that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my member account here. And then <clears throat> as soon as this processes and uh, registers me, again, everything in our system is in real time. So you'll see it will be located under here. And if I go short game clinic with Stu Proctor, you can see all your registrations. You can see I just registered uh, today, how many I registered for in the, uh, the paid amount. So. Um, so again, great customer experience, easy to register for events for the golfer, and then also easy for the operator to be able to post them, manage them, and see all your registrations. All right. So my final um, um, feature, functionality and feature here that I want to show when it comes to both uh, making it easier for golf course operators and for uh, the golf experience is our on-demand um, food and beverage ordering for pickup or delivery. So I think this is huge. It's a great customer experience. There is so many uh, other features and functionalities I can go over, but these are just kind of my top. So at Club Caddy, everything inside of our system was built from the ground up off of one database, including the mobile app, right? It's not a third-party mobile app. We build it, we white label it for your golf course. It will be put in the Android store and then also in the Apple uh, iOS store as well. Um, and, you know, they can, uh, your golfers can, will have a range finder, a scorecard. Um, there will be a bulletin board for news that you post. They can reserve tee times. Your members can see the membership portal. Everything again in real time since it's the same database. But really, the very, very unique thing inside of our mobile app is being able to order food and beverage um, for pickup or delivery, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and order. Um, let's just say I'm gonna order an appetizer, right? And I'll go ahead and say, oh, let's do the buffalo chicken nachos. Um, you know, I don't know, we'll say no buffalo sauce. Um, and we'll go ahead and hit confirm order. Here we can select pickup or delivery. If delivery was turned on, um, you can turn it off as well if you don't have anybody able to run it out to the golf course. Um, we could go ahead and add a tip. 
um, say, you know, um, test or, you know, ranch, please, whatever it may be. We can confirm order. Again, we can pay with our membership uh, ID if that's available, if you allow them to put it on their charge account or credit card. Credit card will be stored in here as well. Um, or again, we will uh, be able to do the um, gift card also. And then I can go ahead and hit pay and it will say my order was placed successfully. It will show up on this on-demand screen and it'll be flashing as well. And you can see, um, you know, my name will be, uh, a pickup order will be in here. I can go ahead and accept it. It's all real time. Everything gets uh, it put into the sales reports and whatnot. And the reason why this is a big one for me, for both the operator and the golfer, is number one, the operator doesn't have to pick up the phone if you have a phone on number eight to say, call in your order, right? Um, they don't have to collect payment. Um, so there's a lot less touches for your operator. So they can serve the people that are dining maybe in the facility and not have to uh, worry about all these other things, right? Um, and then for the golfer, obviously, how nice would it be to be able to order directly from your phone, not get on the phone while you're trying to hit a golf ball, um, and then just pick it up at the turn and it's ready to, it, for you and, you know, prepared. Or if you ask for delivery and delivery is available, how nice to be able to order it maybe on hole number two tee box and then, you know, on number three fairway, um, someone's coming out there and delivering my food to me, right? And what's nice is you can see it refreshing every few seconds. It knows exactly where you're at on the golf course in real time. So if I click this here, uh, this little icon, it knows that I'm right here um, in Florida. So I'm not actually on the golf course that uh, you had the map on. So you can see it shows my little dot right on Florida. But essentially it would show me moving around the golf course um, at uh, your facility. Um, and every single order that comes in does have a different color and uh, dot or pin associated with it. So those are my favorite features when it comes to looking at it and the lens of both an operator and your golfer experience. Um, there is a lot more, as you could imagine. But, uh, you know, we try to keep these videos nice, sweet, and short. But if you want to learn more about our Club Caddy software, please reach out, stu at clubcaddy.com. Um, feel free to email me um, and or you can click the link uh, in the description below and uh, schedule a demo with us. Thank you. I appreciate your time.